With the introduction of ravens in Disney Dreamlight Valley, players are wondering, what is the raven's favorite food? And how many times do I need to feed the raven to make it my pet? Please bippity boppity the like button and launch Maui's hook at the subscribe button for more Disney Dreamlight Valley content. Some players may be curious how to unlock ravens if they don't see them in their valley. To unlock ravens, you must have updated your game to the October 19th patch. By the way, if you haven't already, maybe consider not updating till you've stocked up on crafted items because they remove the ability to order them from Scrooge. But once you have, ravens can be accessed by spending 15,000 Dreamlight to open up the Forgotten Lands. Ravens in Disney's Dreamlight Valley Forgotten Lands can be tamed after feeding them two to over 10 times. There definitely is some RNG involved. Random number generating. Feeding the raven's favorite food will be more likely to drop dream shards or motifs. Uh, those are the yellow gift bags. While feeding raven's foods they like will gift the player uh, biome specific items like the ginger, gooseberries, uh, the crystals, or even dream shards. The raven's favorite foods are five-star meals, and they'll tolerate three- and four-star meals. Ravens will not eat one- or two-star meals. In today's video, we will be going through recipes for all of the raven's favorite foods. We will go over all five-star meals in Disney Dreamlight Valley and where to find the ingredients. To create this guide, I use the 100% complete recipe guide created by Jen and Katrin on the Steam community page. I also used Summer's Guide to Everything to find all the ingredients. But in the bottom right corner of the screen, I have the recipe ingredients listed from Katrin's guide. First thing we're gonna make today is Aurora's cake. So it's a dessert with Raspberries, wheat, sugar cane, eggs, and milk. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so cute. Doesn't it look like it could be in Alice in Wonderland? I love it. All right, another dessert is next. We're gonna make a banana split. Now this one is a very high energy dish, 2,074 stamina points, so that is awesome. For this dish, we're gonna use flesh eyes. And that's all the way down um, on the ingredients pool. And if you would like to see how I was able to get slush ice, I am creating a guide on that this week. So subscribe to the channel and you'll get notified when that goes live. I'll also link it at the end of this video once it's up. The next ingredient in a banana split is bananas. We are also going to need milk. Sugar cane, it's down in sweeteners. And any other sweetener, um, let's try vanilla. Maybe it's vanilla ice cream. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is my first time seeing this one, it looks crazy. Wow, that is huge. Alrighty, let's continue on. Another dessert, this one is a birthday cake. For it, we're gonna need cocoa beans, wheat, sugar cane, that's back down in sweeteners, eggs, and butter. Oh wow, what do you think of this one? Oh, it's so cute too. The candles are actually animated. I think that's a really nice touch. 
All right, I'm not sure how to pronounce this one, so I'm going to get some help from Google. Booyah base. Booyah base. Booyah base. Okay, I'm not sure if that's correct. So if you're French and can help me out with the pronunciation, I would love that. Um, all right, so the ingredients for this one are two shellfish. It can be any kind. So we're going to go over to the seafoods. I'm going to use clams because that's what I have the most of. A shrimp. And two vegetables. It calls for a tomato and then any other vegetables. So I'm just going to use a potato. We have a lot of those. Wow, that is such a vibrant looking dish. If you've ever made this before, I'm very curious what vegetables you would use in it. All right, so we're gonna continue on to fish creole. The ingredients for this one are any fish. So again, I'm just gonna use the one I have the most of. In this case, it's cod. Any vegetable. Plenty of leeks. Garlic, so down in seasoning. You can find some garlic cloves. Uh, up to grains for rice. And finally, a tomato. Oh, there's our fish creole. Those almost look like they used eggplants as the vegetable. Alrighty, let's continue on to our next dish. This is going to be a Greek pizza. For this, we will need any spice. I think, should I use oregano or basil? Mmm. Let's go with orango, oregano. Uh, next we're going to use wheat. Cheese. Tomatoes. And onion. And here's a little tip. If you combine wheat, cheese, and tomato, you can make the base for a pizza in this game and then just try out other items with it to experiment with the other pizza options. Oh, it looks like there's olives on this Greek pizza. Probably Kalamata. Yum. Our next dish we're going to prepare is a gumbo. For this, we will need okra. Shrimp, chili peppers, those are up in vegetables, not seasonings, which was a surprise to me. Tomato, another in vegetables, and onions. This gumbo reminds me of a ramen bowl a bit. Even though it doesn't have noodles, the way the vegetables and uh, shrimp are placed is very aesthetic. I think that this would be a nice item to decorate with. The next dish is lancet fish paella. And in Summer Angel's Guide, you can find that lancet fish spawn in the forgotten lands in the blue bubble fish circles. So let's head down and grab one of those from the fish section. We also will need a shrimp. Oops, not a lobster, a shrimp. Any shellfish. And I'm going to use clams because I have so many of them. A tomato up to vegetables, and rice. <laughs> Those are some big shrimp, oh my god, they're massive. Oh wow, the, the shrimp seem to have grown for this dish. All right, our next recipe we're gonna create is the large seafood platter. For this dish, we're gonna need a bunch of seafood. So let's head down to shellfish. And it says we can use four of any shellfish. So again, I'm going to use clams and then why not a scallop? Sure. Oh, save the crabs for later because I don't have many of those. 
And then the final ingredient for it is a lemon. So head up to fruit and grab a lemon. This dish is exceptionally impressive. I think it'll look really incredible from all 3D angles and I love the height on it. It's gonna look gorgeous on a counter for the party. Okay, the next dish we're creating is a lobster roll. So back down to seafood. We will need wheat. Lemon, up to fruit. Butter. And garlic. No. You know, not gonna lie, this one is not as nice looking. It almost looks like a meatball sandwich. I don't know. <laughs> what do you think of this one? I'm not crazy about it. All right. I probably will not be decorating with that lobster roll, but now it's time to make a Mediterranean salad. Let's see if this one's a little cuter. So we're gonna go over to vegetables, grab a cucumber, uh, tomatoes, onion. Every salad here needs lettuce, and then finally, any spice. Let's go with basil. And game loft delivered. This salad looks great. So fresh. I love the red onion slices. I think that this would be perfect for decorating. Next on the list is Bushu's Kongi. Or Kanji. Hmm. I think we're going to have to refer to Google on the pronunciation for this one. Kanji. Kanji. I stand corrected. That is Mushu's kanji. For this dish, we are going to need some rice from the grain section egg maybe like a fried rice ginger it's down in spices garlic and mushrooms I know mushrooms can be pretty tricky to find, so I'm going to be creating a guide on where to find those in my materials and resources playlist. Uh, keep an eye, for, uh, eye out for that. It should be live soon. <laughs> what? Mushu's kanji had a bacon smiley face. Why? What? Is this the norm? I've never had it before, so I don't know what to expect. Okay, let's continue on. Next on the list is pastry cream and fruits. For this dish, we're gonna use any fruit. A second fruit and a third fruit. It also needs milk and sugar. pastry cream and fruits certainly is a showstopper. I just want to show you guys, I actually am using it to decorate right now. I love it. And the color matches the chairs perfectly. So that is just a fun little touch. And it goes nicely with um, this whole area. And the Wonderland cookies jar matches it. It's just, it's a great dish. So let's keep cooking. I just wanted to share that with you guys. Up next, we're going to be creating a potato leek soup. So for that, we will need cucumbers, <laughs> not cucumbers, I'm sorry, potato, leek, onions, milk, and down in the seasonings, some garlic.
I love how on this dish there's that attention of detail with the cream swirl and then the sliced garlic on top as a garnish. I think that is just such a nice touch and I'm guessing that is some finely chopped leek leaves on top but it could be an herb or spice. I'm not sure. Okay, another salad is next. Go ahead and grab the ingredients for the ranch salad. For that, we're going to need lettuce, bell peppers, corn, tomato, and onion. Oh no, that looks good. That looks so good. I love the corn tortilla strips on that. I think that's a really nice touch. All right, up next is a lot of our first five-star recipes we ever created in the game. So this may be familiar to you already. It is the ratatouille. We're going to use tomatoes, eggplant, onion, zucchini, and any spice. I'm gonna go ahead and use basil for it. After the movie, I started making this dish at home and I really love it. I personally serve it on rice with a dollop of sour cream and some cheddar cheese. I know that's probably not the traditional way to make it, but it's very good. The next recipe we're making is the teriyaki salmon. For that, we're going to need salmon, so let's head over to fish. Referring to Summer Angel's Guide, you're able to catch the salmon in the Frosted Heights region. You will also need soya, rice, ginger down in spices, and sugar cane from the sweetener section. Now this dish, <laughs> this dish looks delish. Oh my gosh, it looks so gourmet. I would love to try it. Oh wow, this is another great decorating item. All right, we're down to our last three five-star recipes. This one is the tuna burger. For it, we will need tuna, must be on the page down. Oh, here we go. So tuna, wheat, lemon, onions, and any vegetable. Let's go ahead and use lettuce. I like lettuce on my sandwiches. Oh, and I love avocado on my sandwiches. I'm pretty sure that's what those slices are. That looks refreshing. The next dish we will be creating is a vegetarian pizza. For this dish, we will use tomatoes, cheese, and wheat, the basics for any pizza. I'll grab those real quick. And then two additional vegetables. So let's try eggplant and oh, what else would be nice with a vegetarian pizza? I'd love asparagus. Looks like they went with bell peppers, carrots, zucchini, and eggplant. So <laughs> I got one of them correct. Last but certainly not least, is a very tasty dessert, a wedding cake. So for this, we will need wheat, eggs, butter, and then down to sweeteners for sugarcane and vanilla. Oh. Oh my goodness, it's huge. It's absolutely tremendous. Wow. 
This video was so much fun to make today. If you're excited to see all the four star recipes in the game, please subscribe to my channel so you can be alerted when it goes live. I'll also be posting a link to it as soon as it's up at the end of this video. I really appreciate you hanging out and watching all these and cooking with me. And if you want to follow along with this video and create all the recipes too, the links to both Katrin's uh, recipe guide, uh, Katrin and Jen uh, will be down below. And then also Summer Angel's Guide to Everything, which is a great resource to uh, find all of the ingredients. I also will be making a special guide on how to get slush ice because that was really hard for me to figure out. So I hope that you had fun and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.